Right, with us we have Rodney Duisep, the coach of 11 Arrows. Rodney, a great win there for you, beating Orlando Pirates 2-0 here in Vintuk. What did you think of the game? Uh, I'm, I'm a happy man, I'm a happy man. You know, um, as I said before, uh, I'm not here to, to, to say I will win the league. I want to end as high as possible on the league. Uh, uh, last weekend I was not having one of the best games. Um, the team was playing good, but the chances, we didn't take it. That's why we lost against, 11, uh, against 7 1 0. Um, I, I watched the game of uh, Orlando Pirates and Everything Stars on, on television. I saw their strong points, and that's why I instruct my boys. The whole week we were training to press them high for them not to play, to play the long balls. And luckily, they, didn't, they fall for our trap because we didn't allow them uh, time on the ball to play long balls. And we pick up the ball and we're fast down. Because I'm having young boys, we're very fast down than them on the ball. And that's how that was the game plan, and my boys stick to the game plan. I'm happy about that. Right, as you say, pressing game, really um, pushing Pirates into mistakes there. But you must also be happy with your goal scorers, a lot of pressure and movement up front there. Um, <coughs> no, football uh, these days, you need uh, a lot of movements. If I'm having the ball, I must have three or four options to play the ball to. And I need to, I need, uh, to have a fast, uh, you need to have fast plays. And that, that's what uh, my, work, my boys were doing today. Getting the ball and lots of movement, forcing a lot of Pirates into a lot of uh, mistakes. You know, um, I have to tell you that these uh, the big teams, they love to push the ball around. But uh, if you press them, then they don't have that convenience to play. And that's, uh, that's, what, I was, uh, that's what I saw about them and that's what I was doing. But I'm, I'm happy with the movement of my players, of the ball. But the last minute, they were just kicking the ball away. And that, with that part, I was not happy. I, I would love them to keep the ball more with them, not to, uh, not to get more pressure on them. And you have a very unknown team. Um do you think these guys can become big name players by the end of the season? Um, I will not say the end of the season. Uh, most of my boys are under 20 boys. Uh, I'm having five under 20 boys, uh, 22, 23 years old boys. And these boys were playing in the first division. They, 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 I'm only having four or five guys that was playing for the Premier League. So I, 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 on my, my, my first week of the team, I told them, I'm a young coach who need uh, your support. You are young players who need my support, so we need to hold hands. And at the end of the season, I think there's one or two boys which I will, uh, which I'm thinking they can still go to the Brave Warriors if possible. And again, four or five guys who can still go with the under-20 team. But uh, these guys need to play more games in the window. And the select, I hope the selectors was here to see how the, what these boys can do. Because as I said, there are more uh, under-20s are playing uh, in December. So I'm having four or five boys that is currently uh, in 11 arrows. If the selectors can come and watch our game, they might, they might see these players. These players, are obviously, if they stick together next season, there will be names. Uh, I know the teams will run after this game. Yeah.